Hi kids, I'm Honey, and tonight's bedtime story is Aladdin. Once upon a time, a boy named Aladdin lived with his mother. They were very poor and often hungry. One day, a man visited them, saying he was Aladdin's long lost uncle. When he told Aladdin he would help him make his fortune, Aladdin and his mother were delighted. Aladdin traveled with him into the desert until they came to a rock. The man pushed it aside, revealing a hidden cave. Climb down into this cave and fetch me my old brass lamp, the man said. Don't touch anything except the lamp. Wear this magic ring to protect you. Aladdin did as he was told. The cave was filled with gold and jewels, but Aladdin touched nothing. At last, he found an old brass lamp and carried it back to the cave entrance. Pass it to me, his uncle said, then I will help you out. But Aladdin wanted his uncle to let him out first. Then he said he would give him the lamp. This made his uncle angry. Fool! The man roared and he rolled the rock back over the cave, trapping Aladdin inside. Uncle! Aladdin cried. Let me out! I'm not your uncle, said the man. I'm a sorcerer. Stay there for good if you won't give me the lamp. As Aladdin wrung his hands in despair, he rubbed the magic ring on his finger. Suddenly, a genie sprang out and asked, What do you require, master? Astonished, Aladdin told the genie to take him home. In a flash, Aladdin was outside his mother's house. Still poor and hungry, Aladdin polished the old lamp hoping to sell it to get money for food. But as he rubbed the lamp clean, another genie popped out. This time, Aladdin asked for food and money so that he and his mother could live in comfort. Life went on happily until one day, Aladdin fell hopelessly in love with the emperor's beautiful daughter. But how could he, Aladdin, marry a princess? Suddenly, he had an idea. He asked the genie of the lamp for gifts to give to the princess. When the princess thanked Aladdin for the gifts, she fell in love with him. They were soon married, and Aladdin asked the genie to build them a beautiful palace. Hearing that a wealthy stranger had married the princess, the wicked sorcerer guessed that Aladdin must have escaped with the lamp. One day, when Aladdin was out, the sorcerer disguised himself as a poor tradesman. He stood outside the palace calling out, New lamps for old! New lamps for old! Aladdin's wife gave her husband's old brassy lamp to the sorcerer, who snatched it away and rubbed the lamp. He commanded the genie to carry the palace and the princess far away. Oh no! cried Aladdin when he discovered his wife and home gone. Quickly, he rubbed the magic ring to make the genie appear. Please! Bring back my wife and palace, Aladdin pleaded. Sorry, master, I can't, said the genie. I am less powerful than the genie of the lamp. Then take me to her and I'll win her back, Aladdin cried. At once, he found himself in a strange city, but outside his own palace. Through a window, he saw his wife crying and the sorcerer sleeping. Aladdin crept into the palace. He grabbed the magic lamp and rubbed it. What 
What do you require, Master? asked the genie. Take us right back home, Aladdin said, and shut this wicked sorcerer in the cave for a thousand years. In a moment, the palace was back where it belonged. With the sorcerer gone, Aladdin and the princess were safe, and they never needed to call on the genie again. The end. Join me again tomorrow night for another adventure. Good night.